Yeah, day everyone, Frosty back with another guide. I've been over Ravine a few times already, covering strategies on the four laned menace, but what if we combine two of them together? And what if that happened to create a new speedrunning world record for Ravine Chimp? Well that's enough yapping, let's grab Haroldo and get stuck into it. A classic three dart start for Ravine. Place the first dart below the tip in the corner on strong, using the hair as a guide. The second dart with the hilt of the sword sticking into the corner of its head, on last, and the final dart with its right eye half covered by the tree, kept on first. Prepare the sword by clicking on it 20 times before round 7, then upgrade your bottom dart to quick shots. During round 7, wait till the last green balloon is live, and then activate the sword by clicking on it a few more times to snipe it off. Place another dart here on strong for round 8, and another dart here in the corner on round 9. Set to strong, tucked in as tightly as possible. Fit one last dart below your first one during round 10 and you're set for a bit. If everything's going well, this should need no assistance up till round 13. If you're losing, check your round 9 dart positioning again, tuck it in. Place Roldo during round 13 next to the top dart, give the left lane some jerry spikes around 14, and proper jerry turret in a crevice here for round 15, making sure that the sight lane barely touches the point here. Add some spikes on the top lane as well and cruise through. Add another turret in the left lane for round 16, and then place a druid on the top side on round 18. Add a sniper on round 19 in line with the turret on strong. You might need to switch to the first temporarily, so be prepared. Upgrade the druid to thorn swarm for round 20, placing another set of spikes down below for round 21. Don't forget to switch back your sniper to strong as well. Add a druid glue on the top for 22, uh, trust me it's there. Same on 23, another jerry glue. Another spike pile on 24 to catch the camo and save all the way up to Druid of the Jungle on round 27. Give it Hawthorns for round 28 and you're chilling. Before round 31, add a final spike pile down below just in case of an unexpected leak. Give the Druid a camo potion for round 33, then pickles for round 34. Glue the top for round 36, and then upgrade to Jungle's Bounty at the start of round 37. This holds up until the mob, so add a factory with the sight lines touching both points giving it smart spice and bigger stacks, and targeting smart. Add a jerry glue and a maelstrom for good measure, and melt the moab. Continuing on, add a discount village after beating round 41, in range of this back three. Jerry glue once again on 43, upgrading to spike balls afterwards. Camo pot once again on 45, and before 46, add your second back three, making sure it touches both lanes, giving it smart spice and bigger stacks, setting it to smart. Give the bounty some pickles before 47, and the balls a brew. Grab a second pair of balls before 49, and prep for round 50. You'll start by upgrading the village to larger radius, and then place a Moab Shove heli in range as well, as well as a jerry fire on your druid. You don't need to move the heli that much, just position it between the lanes here. Just make sure it's pushing back at least one Moab. Before starting 51, grab a jerry bunny and add another brew onto the balls as well. Make sure to switch between the lanes with your shove between rounds as well. Add another bunny for 54, as well as pickles on your druid. Try to grab both mobs for as long as possible on this round. Refresh the camo potion on your druid before 56, and upgrade to Comanche on round 58. Another bunny before 59, as well as quad darts, and then finally, summon the demon bunny before melting the BFB. Start the 60s by upgrading the village to jungle drums, and it's mostly save up time from here. Glue the top for 63. I use one, but two is not a problem either, and is a bit safer. Position your Comanche here for 64 to maximize pierce. When the mobs start to make distance along the track, follow them down to clean up. Thankfully, the next few waves are incredibly simple. Camo pot on the Comanche for 67, and then keep alternating between each lane up until round 74. On 74, you'll sharpening stone your Comanche for the extra pierce, and then on 75, jerry fire and pickles it too. Follow the mobs down as they burst open, then move the Comanche back to the start of the track to clear it easily. Glue the top side for 76 and it should just be fine. 78 is a little bit more complex though. You'll add a glue top side, camo pot both your Comanche and Druid, as well as giving the Druid some pickles. Follow the right lane down and let the bunny clear up the rest. Same idea for the camo pile. Follow it down and you should be fine. Follow up by beating the rest of round 79 to a forward commander before round 80. Time for the easy bit. 
Position the Camacho Commander here for the right side and here for the left side for the remaining rounds. Reapply pickles and sharpening stone for round 84 and get back to blitzing the rounds. Give another jerry fire on round 86 and then add a base glue here before 87, giving it a camo potion before round 89 finishes. For round 88, focus the left side first and then move the command sheet to the middle to catch potential leaks. Reapply your pickles for 89 and then make sure to get the camo pot down for the glue as well. Finally on round 90, upgrade the spirit of the forest. You're almost there. Just make sure to hug the right lane for round 90 to push your DDT back. Pick it up round 91 and 92 using the positioning, and then for 93, add a genie and a discount village, barely touching both the bottom of the ravine and the top of the track, with range, upgrading the glue to mild glue with globs. Then refresh both your camo pots on your druid and Comanche. Add the final sharpening stone on the Comanche for 94, as well as the pickles. Tame your bunny for round 95, upgrading the village to primary training, adding another genie and the glue to relentless with splatter. During 95, follow the DDTs down if they don't initially pop for you, and you should be safe. 96 and 97 should be free. So add one last genie for 98, and then grab a ballistic missile in discount range, as well as a jerry glue in both sides, and a spooky tone to complement. Oh, and throw pickles on the spirit as well. 98 is fairly simple. Focus the left side as the genie spirit combo will annihilate the middle. Grab a first strike and prep for a simple 99, chuckle glue down, and on the right side you should be good. Round 100 is simple, refresh the first strike three times and you're done. You know, I say this every time, but this is honestly one of the easiest ravine strategies out there with very little variance, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the world record attempt, head over to my second channel, links in the description. I'm currently doing a ravine channel over at my Twitch channel, so go feel free to check that out as well. As always, if you've enjoyed this guide, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below telling me what you'd like to see next. That's all for today, I'll see you all next time.